Hello everyone and welcome back to Borealis Zoo. Today we are going to add the entrance to this zoo and uh, first of all I wanted to say sorry for the late upload. I know I promised you guys a new video every Saturday but when I finished the building I thought it should have some interior work and um, I thought it would only take me like one or two hours but in the end it took me like eight hours to, uh, to build it then I didn't have time to uh, to record the video anymore so uh, yeah it's a, it's a day late i'm sorry for that but uh, at least it's only a day so not a complete week or whatever so uh, i'm still pretty happy that we uh, are sticking to the schedule at least uh, but yeah today an entrance building i um, i might have said it in the previous videos i'm so i was struggling a bit with what i wanted to do with the entrance but finally i had an idea for it i uh, i googled a lot I found some um, some wooden houses in Sweden. I actually found a kind of Arctic zoo in Finland, something like that. And uh, this building was inspired by that. It's not the, it's not really um, how should I say it, like a remake or anything. It's uh, it's only inspired. And then I combined that building together with some uh, Swedish wooden houses with the colors, with the white beams, stuff like that. So it all um, it will fit in a little bit better with the. Um, the building that we did with the reindeer habitat it will uh, i think it fits in perfectly one of the comments i got it was that the uh, the color of the wood wasn't really right so i hope this is a little bit better so we might change that for the reindeer building as well but yeah let me know down in the comments what you think if this color is better or uh, yeah the color for uh, the reindeer building so I'm making some, uh, yeah, again, some uh, custom walls. I know you don't want to know the piece count on the, uh, on the final build. I can tell you that. That's also one of the reasons why the interior work took me so long. Because really every time that I placed something, it was lagging. Uh, luckily, when I start building somewhere else in the zoo, I don't have any lag or any frame drops. Um, but yeah, this building, the piece count, I don't think I will be able to upload it um, as a blueprint or something like that so yeah you can imagine the uh, the interior <laughs> already uh, for the interior work i'm uh, i won't be showing it in the speed build because yeah you might know i'm not a big fan of the speed build interior builds because the camera work i know sometimes my camera work outside is already horrible and on the inside it's not you're just not able to watch it and otherwise this video would have been uh, like an hour long we don't want that we um, we want you guys to be able to watch this video during your coffee break uh, while at work or I don't know whatever you want um, but yeah I, I, I thought it would be too long and the camera work was just awful so you will be seeing the interior work in the end of the video in the cinematics of course so what I did with the interior I um, I used a lot of blueprints of course from the workshop there are a lot of like nice gift shop stuff and reception stuff and I basically made my own version of it. So you will see it. You will probably recognize some blueprints. Uh, if I don't forget, I will put the links down in the description, of course. So all credits to uh, to the people who came up with the stuff. But I edited it. I made sure that it fits perfectly into the uh, the building that we uh, that we are making right now. And uh, yeah, it's a struggle, really. Interior work. It's um, it's something new for me. I I, I often uh, yeah. I just don't like it that much and, and I try to avoid it but this time I thought yeah it, it's a beautiful building but people will have to walk through it and you know towards the zoo so yeah it has to have some interior so uh, yeah I did the best I can but you will see like uh, creating a nice roof over here is all fine uh, but on the inside it looks horrible so <laughs> It, uh, I had to uh, yeah, remove some pieces and uh, that was a bit of a struggle. You, you might you see it right here. This is already some interior work, but I deleted it completely. So that's why I'm not showing it to you guys in this video. You might see some uh, yeah, some jumps in time again. I tried to edit this video uh, down to like 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, all the boring stuff, I cut that out basically. So uh, placing all the walls and stuff, I think I... Uh, I didn't show you guys but yeah it's the same thing all around the building so uh, same windows same doors stuff like that so uh, not really interesting for you guys to see so i just want to show you guys how i built this so i thought it looked a bit weird that it would only uh, be wood on uh, on top of the floor so this little concrete structure on bottom i'm using the temple stones of course not really concrete but uh, you have to imagine that it is white beams all around it 
and uh, the building is looking a little bit boring now but of course with all the christmas decoration lighting in the end it looks uh, beautiful as always um, somehow it's really easy to make something beautiful with the arctic pack just throw down a lot of light bulbs and uh, the other stuff it's uh, it's really I, I really love this pack i really love this project and uh, yeah it's a it's a good change for uh, yeah for value Zoo, for example yeah the roof um, the, it was a bit of struggle and i redid everything afterwards but i'm using the same pieces but you will have some uh, corners here and there that didn't fit right so uh, so i had to change that um, yeah, I really like these uh, custom little windows. It's actually normal windows, but yeah, you've seen it with some... Uh, what did I use? Some uh, some columns here and there, but yeah, it uh, it looks cool. Then, of course, some drains. I uh, I really like these drains. Uh, I didn't use them very often. I once used them in Veli Wazoo, and now I want to add them to basically every building because it makes it look so much more realistic, nice little details on the side, and it's quite easy to place. Um, so yeah, it's an easy thing to add and it will make your building look much much better so i'm really happy that they added these pieces uh, you might have seen it i forgot to change some colors here and there but i will fix that of course in the end of the uh of the video i think or you might have seen you might see it in the video i'm not sure yet i added it yesterday at like three o'clock in the night so i'm not sure what's uh, what's gonna happen either in this video i'm just watching it and uh, yeah surprise me um, yeah, and more gutters here and there, um, fixing everything, making sure that it looks better, nothing is overlapping or stuff like that. I hate it when stuff is overlapping, so I try to make things look as perfect as possible. I also added some doors, uh, you can see that, but I didn't like them, so uh, I changed that as well. Uh, that is in the speed build, so that's why I didn't show you the first one, but I will show you the final doors that we, uh, that we used. Also, if you are not in the Discord channel yet, make sure you do. There is a link down in the description. And with a very good reason, um, or why I'm telling you this, is we are having a contest pretty soon. And the announcement will be next week on Saturday. So there will be a Borealis Zoo, but there will also be an announcement video, probably something like that. You will see it on the channel. Uh, but for the contest that we are gonna do uh it's it's pretty interesting we try to do it a little bit different than uh, than from what everyone else is doing i always try that it's uh, sometimes it's difficult but my moderators came up with the uh, with a perfect idea for it so uh, yeah we're gonna do that the very first zoofluencer contest we will have some nice prizes um yeah but you will see it all next week but yeah if you want to um, be the first one to be updated on that make sure you join the discord and uh, yeah again there is a link down in the description and also a uh, little other news we made it to a become a twitch affiliate it's uh it's pretty good news actually i'm really proud of that and um yeah it's, it's something new if you're not following me over there as well make sure you do again of course where can i find the link down in the description of course um yeah why i'm telling you this you by now you know every link is in the description right <laughs> <laughs> when i'm telling you this kind of stuff but anyway i will be streaming quite a lot everything from veluwe zoo will be streamed on twitch of course i will also make a video out of it but uh, yeah the latest two videos with the uh, wild dog habitat and the war dog habitat was all built on stream and maybe one day we will also start streaming this zoo so if you're interested in that make sure you uh, you follow me over there as well uh, I, I really like the streaming it's really good way to connect with uh, with the community and uh, people come up with really really great ideas and the things that i will never come up with uh, without you guys so that's uh, it's really interesting really interesting i finally uh, found uh, the right pieces by the way over here for the floor uh, these uh, little uh, uh, bricks i think they are perfect for the floor itself so we will use them all around the zoo and uh, we will cover up all the pathing of course because after this pathing uh, did become a struggle again so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm covering everything up again i, I was done with it uh, <laughs> we are uh, creating a custom fencing again with 200 trillion thousand pieces uh, and that's one of the reasons why this uh, yeah basically this area of the zoo started lagging i'm not sure about the color yet um i tried some uh, white fences first it didn't really look right but yeah some people might say yeah they need to be white let me know down in the comments of course and 
yeah i don't know it's a it's a it's a lot of uh placing down fences from here again i cut a lot out you will see it after i um go around the corner more or less over here then uh, i i cut it out and uh, all all of a sudden there's like fences all over the places um all, all, all over the place sorry i didn't sleep much last night so uh sometimes uh yeah the voiceover might be a bit weird this time but anyway um yeah creating the corner is it's really nice to have a uh, custom fencing but you can uh, basically make every shape you would like and i'm using a little a smaller beam over here it looks really strange when you change the color it didn't fit but then uh, if you deselect it it fits i don't know it's really weird oh and here's the uh, the jump in time you can see all over the place and um, the fences are all ready done and then we start with some nice christmas decoration of course um these things i'm using them all over the place um uh, these are ribbon things changing the colors it looked a little bit better and of course there will be christmas lighting on the side of course we will do something different with the uh, with the middle structure you will see that in a, a few seconds but uh, yeah i i use these pieces a lot uh, they are not really bright so uh, you will see it in the cinematics of course but it's not you can't really use it as lighting it's more like a decoration thing um, but yeah these uh, costume things of course with the beautiful light bulbs i'm really happy that i <laughs> made this in one of the very first uh, episodes of this uh, of this series it was a struggle and first off i didn't want to uh, i didn't want to add it and while i was doing it I was like ah, damn it's a uh, it's way too much work but I, I was happy that i did it because i right now i'm using it all over the place and i'm happy with that some nice uh, little details here on the roof i really think that uh, yeah that makes the building pop a little bit better and here of course these uh, christmas decoration some lighting you can already see it at night starting to look uh, pretty good um uh, but yeah, of course, this part of the building also needs some lights. But I thought, okay, we need to change the color uh, for this uh, for this little occasion over here. And uh, so yeah, we will do that. I will also add the uh, the white ones, and it will look much better. Of course, red and uh, uh, white lighting. It looks uh, it already looks like Christmas over here. Uh, by the way, this door structure, I will uh, remove that one as well because it didn't really uh, look right. But in the end, I uh, I finally found something that I uh, that I did like. Uh, some lighting on the fencing, of course. It uh, it looks much better like this. I think I, I really like the entrance. So I placed the entrance um, in a way that when you enter the zoo, you can already see the big Christmas tree. You can see the Arctic church that we made. It's uh, you will also see that in the cinematics. But uh, yeah, if you enter the zoo, you will already have the. Uh, yeah, the perfect view basically that was uh, was i was going by the way i also want to add a uh, parking lot but i didn't do that in this video i'm not sure if that will be in any video maybe i will just do it when uh, when i finish up this zoo around christmas of course that's still the goal by the way uh, around christmas i want to uh, finish this one up i really hope we will uh, we will make it maybe i need to add uh, a few more videos so maybe one day there will be uh, one or two or basically two videos a week not sure yet it really depends on all the ideas that i uh, that i have i have a few things that i uh, that i want to add like the wolves for the for the sleigh dogs uh, i want to add some uh, ice skating course something like that um so yeah it's uh, it's gonna be fun but i really hope it will uh, it will be finished by christmas then uh, this font it already says borealis and then uh, i will add the zoo but it looks like 300 I don't know why. Well, I do know why because I contacted the uh, the creator of this blueprint, Weitzer, if I'm uh, yeah pronouncing that name correctly. I don't know, Weitzer. Let me know down in the comments if I uh, if I pronounce that correctly. But I love this font. It's really perfect for this uh, for this uh, for this build. But the Z really looks strange. So I contacted him and said, "Why does it look like a three? He said, "Yeah, that's uh, that's because of the Germans." So Germans. Why does it look like a tree? I don't know. But I will use it anyway. So now it says Borealis 300. But yeah, I think it looks right. Uh, so you have to you have to imagine it's a set, okay? For for the German people, it's a set. So it says uh, it says Borealis Zoo over here. But I like the sign. I I use the uh, Australia pieces over here and some uh, lighting, of course, over here. And uh, yeah, but then we start off with this uh, with this uh, door because I didn't like it. 
and uh, yeah using some different wood pieces of course it's still gonna be white but it's gonna be uh, a little bit yeah just gonna look a little bit better i will make a custom door because we don't have white doors in this game and that uh, i think that will almost be the end of this video uh, i'm sorry if this voiceover was a little bit weird again i didn't sleep that that much last night but uh, yeah i still hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the like button and uh, if you didn't do it already make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on anything new and the speed build will go on for a few minutes and then yeah you will see the beautiful interior of this building in the cinematic so uh, yeah enjoy that and i will speak to you guys in the next one goodbye